Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to do the aggressive diamond casino heist in this video. First of all, for the gunman, pick whatever gun you want to use for the cut, I guess it doesn't really matter. I pick the worst getaway driver so I get that 5% and then the best hacker so we get the most time in the vault. For optional stuff, I'd recommend doing the reinforced armor, the boring machine, level 1 and 2 access cards and Dugan shipments. That's going to make your life so much easier. And it's only 4 extra ones as well. As you did see, I had some others ticked off. But that's only because the camera security intel is going to be guaranteed done every if you've done the Agatha missions. And the other one is just one my friend did, but you don't need it at all because we're just going to be killing everybody anyway. So you don't really need to be anticipating where people are. Anyway, with the boring one, it allows you to enter through the sewer, which cuts out so much combat and time. Uh, so we can see here that we're just going to pop in right in front of the man trap. So with a reinforced armor, we're going to be taking a reduced amount of damage. We're going to be able to kill these enemies pretty quickly. And with Dugan shipments, we're going to be able to headshot these enemies with our bullets rather than having a hard time shooting through their armor and having to possibly even melee all of them as there's no other way to kill them quickly. So I'm going to push to the right and kill these guys whilst my friend is going to clear the rest of the room. He did save my life then as getting shot from a lot of people does going to damage you. But this armor does reduce a lot of the damage. So once this room is cleared, we're just going to push through the man trap. Unlike the other heists, you have to use bombs on the vault door. And as soon as you place them all, back up, stand far away, use your phone, go to detonate bomb, and then you should be able to get into the vault nice and easily. Now, instead of hacking, you'll be using thermal charges. I'd recommend putting those thermal charges on all of the gates that are locked before you do anything else, as then you don't have to wait for them to tick away. You can just open the gates, and then once you're putting it on the other one, then you can go back to the one that's just finished and then go back in. By the time you're done, you should be all right. If the gas goes off, you can use a weapon wheel and snacks to fill up on health. That is a tip I've used for every other video, but this one's the main one because it's more than likely going to go off in this one if you're trying to get everything just like we did. As soon as you leave, enemies will start spawning again in this first room, but still they're not going to have armor. So you can slowly push up at a good pace, I'd say, and just headshot all these enemies and you won't have a problem at all as well, especially if you're taking time. And with the new weapon wheel snacks, even in combat, it's just going to be an easy time getting out of here. And just be careful, keep an eye on the minimap so you don't see any red dots just appear out of nowhere and run around corners as well. As you can see here, we're just taking off the enemies. Now with your level one and two access key cards, you can open this door without hacking anything. Make sure it's level one and two. I know from previous guides, people have been doing like the level one one and being like, why can't I open this door? You need to make sure that it's level one and two. They're both in the same slot on the board. You need to switch across from one to two. And then you can literally just fight upstairs. We're just going to run around in front of this elevator and take out this guy that was punching a wall for some reason. And then we're going to enter the security room here. It's a little bit weird because enemies can shoot you from so many different angles in here. So just make sure you're not going to die. Take cover and use your snacks or whatnot. And then my friend is going to go around and clear the backside slightly. And I'm going to push through the front and just take out the enemies that are in the front here. As you can see, it's very, very easy. It's literally like shooting the people that are just appearing and they're not doing anything to me as well. As soon as you've done that, you don't have to worry about the rest of the enemies in the room. We're just going to run in through the security checkpoint and get the marker to leave the casino. Now that we've left the casino, we're going to be taking the exact same route as we did for the other guides. However, I'm going to be taking my time as there's lots of enemies to shoot. So I'm going to run across the car park and just look left and right every now and again just to see the enemies that are spawning possibly in the distance. And I'm just killing them as I see them on the minimap as well. The ones that are close to us, we're just going to be picking off. Then you're going to want to go to your car, pick the green one with the back window so that you can get shot through the back window. Head over to the police station, use the car to jump climb up against this wall here and then run down this alleyway exactly the same now as the rest of all the other guys you should have the helicopter spawn it's a high chance it hasn't not spawned for me in so long every time i've done this it's been there so just fingers crossed it's there for you too then you just want to make your way up to the rooftop you can shoot the uh gunman out of the side of these police helicopters just so they don't shoot you and take off any more cash on this corner you want to be careful and take it slow because you can run straight off as you see i nearly fell off then as well uh so just make sure you don't fall off there because you will die uh, and then you can just make your way over to this vent you can climb up on this bit here and then just slowly walk over to the next bit stop before you get there and then climb up so you don't slide straight over as you saw i slid straight over then but you can run against this wall here climb up this bit and then climb up the next bit and then you're just on the roof there straight towards the helicopter and then you're pretty much plain sailing for the rest of this heist now we did actually take up quite a lot of damage in the helicopter from getting shot at by the other helicopter but you should be okay i mean the helicopter made it nice and easily uh, and around mount chilea you should lose the police but it did take us all the way to the circle to actually lose the cops if you still have the cops by the time you get to your circle just make sure you're not near the circle so it doesn't fail the heist and then you're done so hopefully this guide has helped you hopefully all the guides i've done recently have helped you and uh, i've tried to keep them short and concise if i'm talking too quickly i feel like i might be you can use the playback speed and slow down how i'm talking but i'm talking at the rate of the video so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you later